What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have some booster boxes. So we have a Metal Raiders Unlimited box and a Legend of Blue Eyes original print unlimited booster box. We're gonna talk a little bit more about these in a second, but first the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. You have DD Assailant from, I think that's some sort of promo, I'm not sure. Uh, this one is also, this is the Kaiba promo from like the PC game, I think. And then an ultimate rare first edition Dark Magician. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about these booster boxes and what we discuss in the video. All right, so first we have the Legend of Blue Eyes box. So Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited. First there was first edition, obviously. Then they came out with the unlimited print with the OG Konami logo. And then they also had a red banner logo booster box, which came out after this. So this is the first unlimited print booster box. This one is going to be in a box break tomorrow, Tuesday, and it's going to be pretty epic. We've already sold at the time of recording this 15 of the 24 packs, so if they haven't sold out, go check out Ruxin34.com, but mostly the members got a ton of these because, I mean, obviously, we've never broken LOB, so it's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully, someone will get the blue eyes. I think original print blue eyes sold for like at one point, like $6,000 in PSA 10. It probably came down a little bit since then, but still, that was a lot. That was a lot for an unlimited card. So it would be cool if we pulled that. Then we have this MRD box. So I got these from the same place. That LOB box looks totally good, like authentic, legit. This box looks a little bit suspicious to me. Like the wrapping is very tight, which is, in my opinion, usually not a good thing rather than, you know, you'd think if it's tighter, it's better. But really, I think it's not uh, when it's super tight like this and there's no sort of you know, flap. You don't always have to have a flap back here, but when you don't have one, it can be sketchy. There seems to be a lot of stuff under the wrapping and like scratches. It kind of looks like a used box almost. It looks, it, I'm suspicious if it's resealed. I don't know if it is or not, but that's why we have this video. I'm going to open this thing up. We're just going to open it up to see if the packs are legit and everything. And then I'm gonna, going to, if they're legit, we're going to sell the packs for a video, not for a live stream. So it's going to be a little bit different if it's not resealed but right now i'm kind of worried that it might be we're about to find out uh the but they're from the same place so the lob looked good so i we're, about, we're gonna find out right now let's see original print metal raider so it has the konami logo 2002 so the, the, at least the box is obviously original but we're gonna find out if everything is good in here all right because yeah i didn't want to hold on to this too long well yes yeah, this wrapping Okay, I, I could be wrong, but this wrapping feels very hard, which is unusual for old wrapping. Oh, this feels... If I had to guess right now, I'm going to say resealed, but I could be wrong. You know, occasionally there's things, but I mean, like, wrapping that's like that, it feels like I just bought something at Kroger and opened it up to eat or something. That's what that feels like. So let's see. Oh, it's been resealed! I... I called it! I called it! Let's go! Okay, I'm so glad we opened this up. Okay, wait a second. This is weird. I think this was resealed like a long time ago. Okay, so inside there should be Konami logo packs. We have not the newest reprint. Are these two- wait, did 2010 have the red banner? I can't remember. These might be 2010 Legendary Collection reprints. This might... This was resealed like a long time ago. This was not like a recent reseal. Unless they... I mean, they could have resealed recently, but why would they have 2010 packs? This is weird. Okay, I'm really glad I opened this on video. So these are... I think these are Legendary Collection 2010, the ones from the binder. And they're all sealed. So, I mean, they're legit packs. And that's why the box was so full, because these ones are a little bit thicker than the originals. So fitting these in there, yeah, I knew that I knew that fell off. I knew it felt off. I'm glad I recorded it. Now I can look like an expert because I knew it. But <laughs> but uh let's count and see if they even put 24. 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to talk to the guy I bought these from. I, he actually let me get them first before I sold them or anything. So uh, uh, he, I don't think he resealed them, but he's maybe had them for a long time. I'm going to have to let him know, but there are 24 legit Metal Raiders packs here, which even, I guess I can eat, at least buy these from him, even though the box itself is resealed because these seem to be regular packs. Um, I don't know if they've been scaled or something, but so original print Metal Raiders box. 
with 2010 Legendary Collection Packs in the box. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Okay, now we can actually say we're, we were scammed, kind of, not really by the guy I bought them from, but somebody was trying to scam somebody. I don't know if he got scammed, though. he probably did, which kind of, that really sucks. Okay, so that's that's pretty crazy. I've never opened a resealed box until now. So this is sucks for whoever got scammed out of it, though. So that's definitely not cool. But um, yeah, we got this on camera. So I don't know what's going to happen with these packs. I guess I'll probably buy these from the guy at least so he gets some money out of it. And then we'll probably open these up at some point because they're just legendary collection packs. They're not originals. As I said, it's because of the logo. You can tell by the red banner. I'll try and pop up the newest Konami reprint so you guys can see what that is. And then the old packs, see what it should be out of this box. So that's kind of crazy. You, As you can see, guys, like it doesn't fit. You guys see how there's all that extra room right there. It should fit under the box so that it doesn't have to open oh, knocked over the stand. It should fit like where the box can close easily. It shouldn't have to like push them down or anything. So that's pretty wild. I This one, I am confident that this is not resealed though. I think that the guy just, I think he got gypped on the Metal Raiders box. This one definitely looks real to me. So the, the wrapping, just you guys see all that stuff back there? That's a good way to tell. If you see that, then it's usually legit because it's hard to reseal and have that on the back. You see all these like the little lines and stuff. See, the one, the difference with that one was it was super tight. And that's what I was saying about that. You can reseal it super tight, but you can't reseal it with all these, all these, uh, I don't even know what you call those, just little lines and stuff like that on the, on the wrapping. Okay. So that's crazy. That was not going to be like the main focus of the video, but I was looking at it right before and I was like, this looks weird. Now we're going to talk about something else. So we have my first edition uh, box that I opened, the open box. You guys saw the video the other day. We opened up one of the packs and we got a polymerization and it was glossy and I was so confused. So I recorded that like a week ago, but um, because it had a sponsor on it, I had to wait to like get it out or whatever. So what I got confused about was, as I said, this 443 and 491, I thought meant wavy, but it turns out I, the thing I was looking at said it was wavy, but it was not updated. It was kind of old. It was like two years old. So I talked with uh, Gezi, the guy who knows everything about all the packs, and he said that this means just means that there is a hobby pack. It's just a hobby. So it could be hobby glossy. could be hobby wavy. What hobby means is for this one is we get Trihorn Dragon. That's all that that code means. It doesn't mean glossy. So that's why when I was suspicious about this glossy box with wavy packs, it was actually just glossy packs with glossy box, so it makes more sense. And I kind of wanted to clarify that because a lot of you guys, I, I don't think I translated that very well in the video because I don't think I knew at that time. So I kind of recorded the video, I edited it, and it had been sitting there for a few days and I kind of got some knowledge since then. Yeah, so since I've only opened one pack and because they're glossy, I'm not 100% sure if they scaled. So I have them marked right now as heaviest and stuff like that and what their weight is, but I don't know actually if the scaling worked. I think we might've just gotten lucky and gotten that hollow. So they're not for sale yet. So a lot of people have DM'd me, DM'd me and said, uh, are you selling the LLB packs? Which I will if, assuming we can open the packs and have some left that are light. Because I don't even know if these heaviest packs are actually hollows. We're gonna find this out in future videos. Don't worry, we will open more of them. The good thing for you guys is if, if they don't scale, you'll get to see 24 packs opened eventually, which would be pretty cool. Um, but then you wouldn't be able to buy any if you guys are interested in the light packs. So hopefully it works out like we only have to open like maybe 10 packs and then we can get all six, seven hollows out of them. And then I can sell the lights to some of you guys. But right now I'm not totally sure like if that's going to happen, but I just wanted to up you got, update you guys on these since a ton of people, like a lot of people messaged me about these. I did not figure that many people would be interested in a light pack because they are pretty expensive for what they are. But uh, I guess at this point, light packs are the way to go because it's so hard to find, you know, you can't get heavier on weight pretty much at all. So that's pretty much it for this video. It took a crazy turn. It was going to be a short video, but then we got a scam box. So that made it more interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like the video if you did. And uh, hopefully we will have some epic stuff coming up. We do have LOB box break tomorrow. So make sure you check out the live stream. There won't be a video, but there will be a live probably around 5 p.m. Central. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that Metal Raiders box. I'll let you guys know. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh.